Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Adventures with Amira. Today is the kickoff of my coffee chats with me. I am looking forward to getting to know you guys better. In honor of today, I have on my new Chai Harder t-shirt, if you guys can see this. I think it's the cutest thing. I found it at Old Navy for like under 10 bucks, and I'm all about it. I love coffee, and I love chatting with you guys, so let's get into it. So today's topic is about would you give a ride to a stranger? <laughs> this may seem a little crazy to you to ask this, but my husband seems to think I might have a problem because I've given rides to several strangers. And this happened a few weeks ago, actually. I called him at work, and I just, I promised him that if I did that, I would at least call him and let him know. And if any of you guys know anything about my husband or you've been watching my channel, you know he's in a classified building most of the time, so I can catch him in between buildings, but I normally cannot just call him, which makes him a little scared with me just randomly giving rides to people. It's not something I do all the time. I mean, only in extenuating circumstances. So this is what happened. I was coming home from the store and I passed by this lady that I thought I recognized from my children's school. And it was in my neighborhood, it was close to my home, probably about a block from here, and she was towards our lake that we have very close to my house. And she was kind of in dress clothes, like you know, a teacher would dress, and she had a big purse with her. And she's older, she's probably gotta be in her 60s. She was saying she actually retired last year, I didn't realize that. But I was like, it was almost 100 degrees here. It's still very hot here in Florida. And so I got all the way home and I was pulling in the driveway and I said, you know, I need to go back. I, I used to live without a car. You guys, I went five years without a car when I was younger because I've been on my own since I was 17 years old and I was working three jobs and finishing high school and saving my little bit of money I could scrounge up to try to get a car. Right. So I know what it's like to have to walk, especially in the heat or the pouring down rain, which it's raining right now, excuse the, the weather. It's really hard and especially with her being a little bit older and it was so hot. So I turned around, I went back up to the lake and I thought maybe she's just walking up to the lake, you know, to reflect or something. She probably lives in my neighborhood. And might I add, I live in a huge neighborhood that we're way in the back, like it's a few miles back at the end of our neighborhood to even get to where my house is. So I was like, if she's been walking it, and there's only one way in and out. So I was like, if she's walked in here, that's a long walk. And I thought, well, maybe her car broke down somewhere. I, I mean, I couldn't really rationalize why she might be just walking out in the sweltering heat with dress clothes and this big bag. So I turned around and I went to pick her up and I said, excuse me, do you need a ride? And she was like, oh yes, shoot. And she just came and got in my car. And I said, well, where do you need to go? I was thinking she was trying to make it home or something like farther back in the neighborhood. But she said, oh, I need to go to Home Depot, which ironically I had just left there because that's where the Dollar Tree is. And so I turned around and I started taking her and she didn't really say much to me. Maybe she seemed like she was really flustered, like maybe she had some something going on in her life and I didn't know the lady so I didn't want to intrude but you know I just asked where she needed to go I asked did she teach at my children's school and she said oh yes I retired last year so at least I was like okay I do recognize this person but she didn't say much else and then when we got closer to Home Depot she actually had me drop her off at a church that was nearby so I thought well maybe she just needed to speak to someone you never know what people are going through in their life but I gave her the ride and then my husband finally called me back. He said, he was with some coworkers. He's like, babe, are you giving rides to strangers again? And I was like, well, see what happened was, so I'll start everything that might sound a little bit off. What happened was the lady was, you know, in a hundred degree weather and I was thinking about her having a heat stroke or something. But I wanted to ask you guys, Am I totally crazy? Would you guys have done the same thing? Like if it was somebody you possibly recognized? Now I have given rides to strangers before that I had no idea who they were, but it's normally like a unique circumstance. For instance, I don't know if you guys ever saw the video when I first started my channel about three years ago. There was ago. a gentleman at Dollar Tree that tripped and fell. It turns out he like used to work for NASA on the space shuttle program. And yeah. on like a World War II veteran hat, and there he was sprawled out on the sidewalk, bleeding, and nobody would help him. And so I gathered the man up, and he didn't really want to get an ambulance, which I totally understand because it's so expensive. And so I offered to take him to an urgent care clinic because he was really elderly, probably in his 80s, and you know, his skin was really thin, so it had 
busted him all up and he was bleeding. So I got him into the car and I went to drive him somewhere because I didn't want him to drive because he had hit his head. And I remember that time my husband was like, babe, you, you just put this random person in our car and he's bleeding everywhere. And I was like, it's just a car. It's blood. You know, it'll come out. He was like, it's not bad. He's like, he was, you know, just so shocked that I would do that. But that's just the kind of person that I am. I always think about what if that was me or what if I fell and what if I was somewhere in 100 degree heat? I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. Are there any of you other people out there that think the way that I do? Even if you wouldn't give the ride to the stranger, but you at least think about it. I'm interested to know in the comments down below, have you ever given a ride to a stranger? And if so, what were the circumstances? Ironically, I just happened to be on the phone with my aunt this morning. She was telling me about picking up strangers on the side of the road. And I said, see, it runs in my family. And she's like, you know, not blood related, but she's still my aunt. And just growing up around people like that, I just thought that was so funny. She said that she was going home one day and she passed by this Indian lady on the side of the road that was like fully covered, like in traditional um, saris and stuff and she said it was so hot and I saw those beautiful clothes and I just was like I have to offer that lady right and she said she just pulled over and said come on get in the car where do you need to go and turns out the lady's husband owns a gas station and both of their employees that were supposed to come in that day never showed up and the lady was trying to get home to her elderly mother who was ill and she was trying to get home to take care of her and she didn't have a way to get there and she couldn't take the car or something like that so she was gonna walk and my aunt just picked her up and she said she lived in like such a nice neighborhood and stuff and she nice. said another day she picked up this um this guy's car had broken down and she saw the broken down car and she stopped and she said sir do you need a ride and he she said he didn't even look at her at first like is this lady talking to me and so she was like, sir, sir, do you want me to give you a ride somewhere? And she said he was just shocked, you know, that somebody, especially in this day and age, would stop and give him a ride like that. She went to take him home and turns out he had forgotten a cell phone at home or something like that. It's just funny to me that I give people rides sometimes and she gives people rides. And I just wonder, like, do people ever think about, like, what if that was me on the side of the road? Is it just that I have so much empathy for others. Maybe I think that it's because I lived for five years without a car and had to walk everywhere to my jobs and to school. I'm the same way about restaurants. Once you've ever worked in restaurants, you kind of just clean the tables off naturally as much as you can, you know, because you're thinking about the person working there and you're like, well, I don't want to leave a mess because I used to work in a restaurant too and I would hate it when people would, you know, leave messes everywhere. So it's just something consciously that I take pride in now and teach my children you know you always clean up behind yourself and put your tray away but anyway i just wanted to chit chat with you guys about that and, and get some opinions from you guys and if you have other topics you want to talk about let me know in the comments or message me either on instagram youtube facebook i'm on all of them and just tell me what you'd like to talk about i know that i want to cover topics like loneliness i'm going to be covering topics like dealing with the loss of parents because i don't have either one of my parents anymore and just thinking about it, it's about to make me tear up. Um, dealing with separating from military life, that has been a huge transition from what I was used to for so many years. My husband and I have been together almost 20 years and he was in the military as, you know, shortly after we got married. And it just is so different to come out of military life to the civilian world. So I wanted to talk about that some, but I have tons of stuff to talk about, but I wanna see what you guys think too, cause really you guys are like my friends. So I'm very interested to know your opinions on things. I plan on doing one of these every week and Lord help me, I'm gonna try to stick to it. As soon as I started filming this video today, I got a text from my son's high school saying all the power went out because we're in the middle of all these storms in Florida and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to go pick him up. So I was rushing to do this video in case I need to run out the door. They think they're gonna get the power back but they're moving them to other classrooms. It's just always something, you know, life happens. But anyway, my goal is to make one of these videos for you guys every week and to just, you know, chit chat with you guys. Maybe you want to grab a cup of coffee with me and we just talk. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.